It's Rick Smith once again for Trinity United Methodist Church in Prince Frederick, Maryland, for the Daily Prayer. And this will be for Monday, the 24th of April. And today, um, I thought I would bring passage from Ecclesiastics. And many of you know this passage well, but uh, I will read it anyways. The third chapter of Ecclesiastics, the first eight verses. A little bit long, but bear with me, because I think it's appropriate right now. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Why did I pick this passage uh, that many of you know very well? Well, I think it's pretty obvious what's happening tomorrow at our church. And for those who don't realize, the tomorrow's the 25th of April, uh, and it's my oldest granddaughter's birthday. But also, it's the day that Trinity United Methodist Church takes up a vote for deciding whether to disaffiliate from the United Methodist Church or to stay with the United Methodist Church. And the um, vote has caused a lot of heartache for many people. I get that. Um, and please don't go to the last part of the last verse where it says a time for war and a time for peace. We don't want war. We don't need that. Just put that away. But it is time for a decision to be made. Um, probably 98, 99% of the people already know how they're voting. Not a shock. And you would have a hard time probably convincing anybody what and how to vote. And not a shocker, it's that one or two percent that still isn't sure yet. The only thing I'll bring up is don't worry about money. Don't worry about what other people think. I want you to only worry about what's in this book, the Holy Bible, and decide based on scripture of what you want to do, how you want to vote. I'm obviously not going to sit here and tell you how to vote. That's your decision. But I beg of you to make it scripture based um, to really put your head to this. Um, and realistically, there's more than one subject that brings all of this up, more than one thing that's making us decide to do this vote. And understand, yes, we're going through the LGBTQT and so forth uh, uh, thing through that avenue, but there's so much more to be thought about as well. And that's what this is all about. I pray you will use scripture as your decision making. Um, and I, before people start saying it, I get it. Everyone's going to make the scripture say what they want it to say. I get that. But pray on this. You, and I don't want anyone praying. Please, dear God, pray to have people come to my side. Wrong prayer, and God knows that. The prayer should be 
that you make the decision that is pleasing in his eyes, that I make the decision of my vote to what's pleasing in his eyes. And everybody else, all of us, need to decide what's pleasing in God's eyes. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what this is all about. Um, I'm one of those ones that, yeah, I know I'm voting. That's between me and God. I am not going to sit there and discuss it with people too much. Those who know me already know how I, I will want to vote. But that's just mostly between me and God. And so is your vote. So I beg you to show up cast your vote, and then once that vote is over and the decision is made, then to work with the common good, the common interest, and we'll take it from there. Let's pray on this. Father in heaven, Trinity United Methodist Church is falling in line with many other churches of the United Methodist Church, not only here locally and in the state of Maryland, but throughout the entire country. And we know this grieves you that we are fighting back and forth. I beg your forgiveness. May we do what is pleasing in your eyes and what is good in your sight, not ours. Be there with us, and may your will be done. This we pray in your most holy name. Amen. Again, um, show up tomorrow night, cast your vote, and then the following Sunday, I'll see you in church. This is Rick Smith for Trinity United Methodist Church in Prince Frederick, Maryland. And this is the daily prayer for Monday, the 24th of April. How do you like that? I did it without looking at the calendar. And uh, this is the daily prayer. And remember, no matter what we're doing or how we're voting, Jesus is walking with us.